Hey guys, we're here in Birmingham, Alabama uh, with Coach Chris Mize. Uh, he's been with uh, since, since I Eric for how long? Since 1997. Since 1997. Mm -hmm. We're going to be running through some guard passes, some basic ones today. Stick around. Okay guys, one of the first ones we'll take a look at is just the basic underpass. Maintain posture. I'm going to put a knee in trying not to break my posture, slide the knee back, or you can open up the foot. The big thing is to get the hip bone to put pressure against Chris's uh, feet. I'm going to underhook, come across, and apply pressure past the side. The next one, uh, I call it knees together, post and pass over. And so he's got a really good grip. I'm having a hard time using my mechanics to break those feet apart. So I'm going to bring my feet together and straighten the body so that I can slide the knees down like that. And then I'll open my base back up, trying to pry his feet apart. So once I get that, I'm going to slide a knee over. If you see this foot, uh, Chris can curl his leg here, which can trap my leg and lead to a sweep. I'm going to move my foot down a little bit and hook on the lower leg. So if he tries to hook it, I've got control of that mechanic. I'm going to put weight on him and underhook the head. I just don't want to limit his ability to turn his chin. I'm going to turn sideways and I'm going to start to walk his leg up. If he hasn't overhooked it, that's okay, but a lot of guys will overhook that leg trying to survive. I'm going to underhook and step out. Go to side. One more time. He's got a good grip. I can't get the feet apart. Knees together. Shake and bake the leg, slide the knee over, walk the foot up as I'm controlling the chin, underhook the leg, step out, go to side control. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to break the feet apart. This time I'm going to take the hand on the top leg and post on the mat. And I'm applying pressure to the inside of that thigh and I'm posting on top of the knee on the other side. I just kick my leg straight and walk around. A lot of times I like to post my head on the far hip just so I can apply pressure as I'm walking around. Break the feet, post, control the knee, post on the hip, walk around the side. Next one, break the feet open. And it's common that I'll get this post with the foot down. If I feel that, I like to put weight on it. So I'm literally putting my armpit up, pit on that leg and I'll rest my weight in that leg and slide the far knee through to the pass. One more time, pop it open. I feel him build this mechanic. So I put my armpit or my side on it, let him support the weight and then I'll slide through. This can be done with the far knee or the close knee. Put weight in. When I do it with the close knee, when I kill this mechanic here, I like to walk the foot wide. Right now he feels like he's getting a split. And then I can just drop that knee over. You can see I'm still controlling the knee as I pass. Sometimes it will break and I'll pop up the knee. I can drop the knee on that side and just dive through to the other side. Superman pass. Break it open. Sometimes he gives me this mechanic and I can drop my shoulder onto his hip. I could do the outside shoulder or the inside shoulder like that. Depends on which side I want to go to. If Chris is in this position, I prefer to be on his back. So I'm just gonna shoulder plant and pass into side. You could get this one too. Sometimes they'll go to a scissor position like that and try to kill the legs. I can shoulder plant on that leg and just walk around into a side control in the back. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. If you like the content, be sure and like and subscribe below so you can keep up with what we have coming out in the future. Also, Check us out on ericpaulson.com. We've got programs on the main website for the general public and students, and we also have a lot of information and programs that are available for professional martial artists through the association.